the real reason you can't avoid Kid Rock's controversy. Don't believe the rumors. We'll show you the unfiltered truth from his explosive Rolling Stone interview. Stay till the end to uncover the most jaw-dropping moments that weren't even published. Kid Rock, once known for his party anthems and carefree attitude, has become a figure of significant controversy. His recent interview with Rolling Stone has peeled back the layers of his public persona, revealing a man deeply embroiled in polarizing political views and personal contradictions. Kid Rock, born Robert Ritchie, grew up in the affluent suburbs of Detroit. His upbringing in a wealthy household with a staunch Republican father laid a complex foundation for his future. Despite his privileged background, Rock aspired to the raw energy and rebellion of rap and rock music. His early career was marked by his innovative blend of rap, rock, and country, making him a household name in the late 90s and early 2000s. In recent years, Kid Rock has transformed from a genre-bending musician to a staunch advocate for right-wing politics. This shift has baffled many, including his former bandmates. His interview with Rolling Stone highlighted this transformation, showcasing a man who now openly embraces controversial and divisive rhetoric. During the Rolling Stone interview, Kid Rock did not hold back. One of the most disturbing moments came when he repeatedly used racial slurs and openly displayed a gun, seemingly to underscore his point. This behavior paints a picture of a man who revels in his notoriety and seeks to provoke outrage. The interview also touched on his disdain for what he calls woke culture. Rock defended his use of the Confederate flag and dismissed its racist connotations, claiming he wore it because of his admiration for Leonard Skinner. This defense, however, falls flat in an era where the flag is widely recognized as a symbol of racism and division. Throughout the interview, Rock's political views were front and center. He ranted about immigration, aligning himself with the inflammatory rhetoric often associated with former President Donald Trump. Rock's unfiltered comments on topics like open borders and high taxes reflect his deep immersion in right-wing ideology. Moreover, Rock's public support for Trump and his harsh criticism of progressive policies, including those of companies like Ben & Jerry's and Planet Fitness, show a man who is deeply entrenched in the culture wars. His attack on these companies highlights his opposition to diversity and inclusion efforts, painting him as a figure resistant to societal progress. Despite his hardline public stance, Kid Rock's personal life reveals contradictions. He has a biracial son from a high school relationship with a black woman, adding a layer of complexity to his frequent use of racial slurs. This contradiction raises questions about his true beliefs versus the persona he projects to maintain relevance. The interview also hinted at Rock's awareness of his declining musical career. His pivot to political commentary and controversy could be seen as an attempt to stay in the public eye amid dwindling musical success. This strategic move might be more about managing his career's emotional fallout than any deeply held beliefs. In the end, Kid Rock's interview with Rolling Stone is a stark reflection of a man who thrives on controversy and division. His candid admissions and erratic behavior during the interview provide a glimpse into a complex individual who is both a product and a proponent of the polarizing times we live in. As the interview wrapped up, Rock's request for the writer to pen a horrific article about him underscored his embrace of his controversial image, further cementing his place as a polarizing figure in modern American culture. Thanks for watching. If you found this video insightful, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more exclusive content like this. Don't forget to like, comment your thoughts, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an update from the Red Carpet Reup.